Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you haven't been here before. My name is Savannah Rose and I make videos about life and things that I've gone through to hopefully we can laugh, we can cry together, we can experience it. Um, I, my main goal is to keep you guys from going through the things that I've had to go through or at least give tips that are going to help you on your own personal journey. Um, so today uh, my video is going to be about being there for yourself. Um, self-growth, self-acceptance. I've been listening to Radical Radical Acceptance by Cassandra Campbell, and oh my gosh, it's so bright right now. Ah. But I've been listening to Radical Acceptance by Cassandra Campbell, and this shadow is just going to be here because I can't see. But <laughs> um, the biggest thing that I've been taking away from it is that most of the time we spend our lives judging ourselves intensely, and a lot of the times it's much more so than we even think. Um, I haven't really thought about how badly I talked down on myself until I started listening to this audiobook and I actually started hanging out with um, a good friend of mine who has helped me a lot with focusing on my consciousness and my breathing and all of those kinds of things. And it's, it's crazy really how often we put ourselves down and judge ourselves and we lose consciousness and we just kind of check out of what's going on in the world because it's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot more than you even think. I actually deleted Snapchat from my phone and I didn't realize like how often I would click on it until it was gone and I was subconsciously just pulling it open and then it makes your brain stop and go, wow, I, I keep doing this. This is like repetitive and it's not here and it, it kind of throws you in for a loop and it's, cr it's, it's a lot to realize like our habits control most of our lives and most of our habits are based around self-destructive tendencies or things that make us feel bad about ourselves like... Um, compulsively eating a lot or doing things like scrolling through our phone um i've got lots of friends where when you hang out with them like all they do is just scroll through their phone and it's it's distracting to them because they're not experiencing life the way that you they they should be experiencing life which is just being there and it's affecting the people around them who want to just spend time and experience life with them um being present and the whole purpose of what I'm saying is that a lot of the times we let these things go by subconsciously and we say mean things to ourselves. I've been calling myself a loser a lot because I've been going through a hard time and um, having it to balance and feeling like I need to have things figured out and feel, comparing myself to other people. Um, or if, you're, if you have a mental illness, a lot of the times you'll say like, what's wrong with me? Or I'm crazy or blah, 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 I'm unstable. And really all of these things are just the monologue that we're creating for ourselves because we're putting ourselves in this space where we're not good enough. And that's the biggest thing that you need to, we need to be able to do together is we need to be able to step aside from all these things happening and say, okay, these are happening. We can accept them. We can let them be um, as they are. And then move from there in terms of, oh, that was my book. <laughs> that's what it is coming. Um, but then move on from there in terms of like building and getting better and focusing on when you do feel that and what you can do that's going to change that habit, change that feeling. Um, for example, I was putting off dealing with and focusing on my bipolar disorder and like, even just like noticing the things that were bringing me up and down and up and down because I wanted to believe that it wasn't there. But when I was able to take the time to say, you know what? What if this is what's happening? I'm just going to feel it out. Is when I started to be able to really get a hold on my symptoms and when I'm going up and when I'm coming down and when what helps me to switch out of that and to kind of level out and be peaceful. Um, like today, I intuitively was like, you know what? I'm, I'm going to go for a walk. And I've never been here before. And it was just this park. And I took a trail that led up over a hill and I didn't see what was over it. And it's this really pretty lake. And my dog's enjoying it as well <laughs> she's having a grand old time just like looking hi Sophie hi oh, baby you're having a good time she's so happy right now <laughs> she was like rolling around in the grass and the leash got stuck under her so she was like rolling around and she got stuck because she was falling down the hill so I pulled her and it like rolled her because it was like on the opposite side anyways it was really funny but but taking the time to just be there for yourself and listen to what your body, what your mind, what all these things are telling you because they're telling you these things for a reason. And the more that we shovel, the more that we create these deep hatreds and cont contempt for ourselves. And that's where all these monologues come from. Oh, a fish just came up. Um, oh, another fish just came up. <laughs> but see, things like that. So like I've been kind of condemning myself because I feel kind of spacey and I get confused and 
distracted and today I was at the gym, the gym today with my friend Jake and I was just all over the place and he really knew what he was doing and he was in the zone and I was not and I used to go to the gym all the time. I know all of these things, I know all of these exercises but I was just feeling goofy and I was starting to get in my head and be like, oh, I'm, I'm confused, I'm lost, I'm stupid and blah blah blah, I'm spacey but really you just need to take a second and be like, you know, it's okay. Because the more that you breathe into those feelings, the more that you're going to create more of them. But if you breathe into the feelings of, I'm here, I'm doing the best I can, I'm, I'm not, instead of saying I'm spacey, saying something like, I'm working on it, I'm, I'm training, I'm getting better, I'm learning. I, but lately my memory has been so awful and my attention has been, um, well, I've my memory has been experiencing. See, it's hard. It's not. It's not easy to just be like, okay, everything's perfect. But I've been having a hard time remembering things lately. And instead of st saying things like I have a horrible memory, I just need to say, okay, maybe I should study more. Maybe I should learn more. Maybe I should do things that are going to help engage so that I can grow my brain and my mind, and so I can remember things and speak more fluently. And <laughs> like, it's. It's crazy how, not even crazy, it's sad how many people go through their life just judging themselves over and over and over again every single day, relentlessly and without any compassion. And um, what the book that I'm listening to is basically saying is that you got to be able to take a second to just breathe into what you're feeling and accept it because people think that that is being passive and just letting letting things go over your head and go by you and that's exact, exactly the opposite of what it is. When you can notice how something makes you feel and you can notice how something's affecting you, then you can take the steps towards changing it compassionately and lovingly towards yourself instead of fighting it with resistance because as... Oh... Because as we've seen in many wars or petitions or, um, oh my gosh, not petitions, what's the word? No. Protests, jeez. Um, the more violence there is, the more it just creates a stir up and things just get overworked and overestimated and just, just loud. And when things are peaceful, some of the biggest movements in history that have been able to make change, um, like Martin Luther King, came from peace and calm and acceptance of not 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 quite acceptance but just like that was a little different okay it, it was it, it was accepting for how things are but making a peaceful movement to change it into a different direction and that's what i'm talking about here um funky example and but i'm working on for me personally um i want to be i want to focus more and i want to be more attentive and get less confused and distracted so when I'm making these videos my goal is to not edit them as much anymore and just be okay with where I am and that'll push me to okay I'm accepting where I am I'm accept accepting where my thoughts kind of drift and wander around in these videos and it's pushing me to make it better because I know that the more that I can improve my speech the more I can improve my videos because I'm not editing as much and I'm just going to be more there and I mean if I'm on stage I can't edit my performance like if I'm talking to a group of people so it's just prompting me to be a better person and that's what I'm urging you to do is just take the time to breathe into what is making you feel breathe into the feelings that are coming from a certain situation or a certain sensation or whatever it is you're dealing with so that you can make room to bring light into it and bring energy and healing and love into it because the more that we try to attack ourselves and the more we try to attack our problems or attack the things that we don't like about ourselves the more that we're just going to create more of them because fire plus fire equals just more fire so be there for yourself love yourself be compassionate with yourself and take the time to be mindful um i don't remember who i, I can't remember where i read this oh um my friend Delaney actually van life coach on Instagram he posted something then he said that somebody um he posted something that somebody else posted which basically said every time you open social media take three deep breaths because then you have to regain consciousness and you have to be more there for the present moment I think I thought that was so beautiful because there's so often that we just kind of like run into things like I've said before and so just take the time to be mindful if you notice yourself drifting out of your own consciousness and out of control just take a second to take three deep breaths reset what do you want to do next and then go for that 
or what do you want to think next or what do you want to feel next or what's going to make you feel better but just take the time to breathe into what you're feeling so that you can make room for something else to come in um but thank you guys so much for watching this video i'm actually feeling really great about this one um it's a beautiful day outside it's a beautiful look at all these colors like it's just it's amazing it's absolutely amazing and i'm not even wearing makeup but i'm feeling Fuck you fresh. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed. Um, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day, your week, your life, your existence. And I, I hope to check in with you guys um, very soon. Thank you so much. Bye. And bye from Sophie. Bye, baby. <laughs> bye, guys.